Hi guys, welcome to Cumbrian Lad Outdoors and welcome to today's video. Today I'm hoping to camp somewhere very, very special, somewhere that I've been looking for for five or six years, even before I started the channel, and that is Wolf Cave. For those of you that don't know, Wolf Cave is technically the Lake District's smallest bothy, possibly even the UK's smallest bothy. It fits two to three people inside, so it's very small, but it's got a couple of little bunk areas, a fireplace, and places for you to hang all your stuff up and everything. So like I said, I've been looking for it for years. So today, to get a successful camp means two things. One of which is me actually finding it, and two, if and when I do find it, that there's nobody else in there. At the moment, I'm just starting to walk through the Langstrath Valley, and we're at the fairy pools where we have had some people swimming. You can see there's some more people swimming just through there by the waterfall. Very muggy, overcast at the moment, just below Eagle Crag. 22 Celsius, so that probably will not make for a very pleasant walk up. As you can see, I've got the waterproofs on, but by the time I get up there, I'm probably going to be just as wet with sweat. First pot of call with the black moss pot. We'll have a quick look around there, and then fingers crossed, I get to find Wolf Cave. So come join me. I don't think there'll be many views on this one, but this will be one awesome place to camp if I can find it. And of course, I will give you a couple of little hints along the way. I'm not just going to give this one away, guys. It's taken me, like I say, a long time to find this. So if you are genuinely interested to find Wolf Cave, I will give you enough pointers for you to go and do your research and find it. It's a good few years since I've uh, walked up this neck of the woods. It was right almost at the beginning of me starting my channel. I come up and uh, <clears throat> I did a camp with my pal Big Al. Um, yeah, that seems seems like decades ago now. I can still remember it clear as day though. But look at this, absolutely idyllic. Beautiful for a little dip in there. We've just got to walk up here. And just underneath that outcrop there is Black Moss Port, which is our first destination for today. We'll have a quick look around there. And here we are at Black Moss Port. It's taken me about 20 minutes to walk up here. And as suspected, I'm as wet as I would have been without putting my waterproofs on. It's so warm and muggy today. We've got some people jumping and swimming. You see the river comes down the valley and it meets this crux point here and it's a perfect spot for a dip. Not for me, definitely not today anyways. So from here I need to walk a little bit further up the valley and then at some point I'm going to be turning right. The first of the clues that I'm going to give you. So I'm right by the river. You'll notice I'm right by the big S bend and I'm going to be turning right somewhere. Now this challenge has just become a little bit more difficult with the research that I did at home. I did put a pin on Google Maps where I think Wolf Cave is. However, at the moment I have got no satellite signal. So I, don't, I can't even get proper maps up. I've just got the normal maps on Google Maps. So I am just going to wander up there. I know roughly where I'm headed. I'm just going to head up there and fingers crossed we find it. Absolutely buzzing, made up. I have found it. After all these years, I've found it. And they are right. If you did not know where this was, you would walk right past it. You would miss it. You can see that I am looking down exactly in line with that steep bend in the riverbed. So that was clue number one, turn right at that bend. Time for clue number two. Now this rock here is a very specific shape, looks like an arrowhead. If only there was some way <clears throat> of bringing up a very detailed map taken from 
a satellite then you'd be able to spot that very specific shape rock wouldn't you it's a shame there isn't such a thing really isn't there let's go and have a look it is quite tight to get through a little bit of a hop up step there and once you're over that you come into like a little alcove see I've got my bag put down there I can't tell you guys how happy I am I found this. Point of reference as well, there is also plenty of space outside this rock formation for tents as well. There is a plaque on the wall in memory of Malcolm Prentice, 1943 to 2015, whose efforts built this refuse for all, refuge for all to enjoy. Now as far as I'm led to believe from the stories that I've heard, Malcolm was an engineer. And he basically sold up everything and he lived in here now we did make like a mechanical metal door and unfortunately some years ago some undesirables decided to come up here and rip it off which is a real shame which is one of the reasons why i'm not just giving this location away those of you that are going to follow the clues that i've given you and put the effort in to find it are the type of people that will respect this place there is some kind of remains of metal there but what people have been doing recently is covering up the entrance with stones so my first job will be to move those stones out the way so i can gain access right i've got those stones moved and what remains of the original door i've got my bag just ready so i can reach out and get it and you can already see through the door there is mats and stuff that have been left behind Right, without further ado, let's, let's have a look inside. I am absolutely buzzing. Like I say, I've been looking for this place for so long. <sighs> oh. Now it is quite a squeeze, especially for a big chap like myself. <sighs> but immediately, once you're inside, You've got a bit of headroom. And that's me inside after all these years of looking. Um, we do have a level up here. I don't know whether you'd be able to get somebody sleeping on that. But there's very limited light at the minute. You can just and so see the mats there that folk have left behind. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring all my kit in get all my kit set up for the night uh, and in that kit is a couple of lights so once I've got my kit sorted I'll get the light on and we'll have a proper look around it is cozy it is very cozy <laughs> buzzing man buzzing right time to get my kit set up well I've got my rucksack open I haven't got my stuff set up just yet but I have got my light out as you can see just looking at the entrance there the back end you can see there's a little fireplace where you can have a fire there is a natural chimney got a little alcove there where there's been some stuff left behind it does look like there's a little bit of a cupboard there we'll have a ratch in there in a minute again more stuff that's been left behind for folk to use tins of beans and what have you now this bit here is supported by metal so I reckon you could definitely get another person on there with the sleeping bag we've got some flags visitors book and inside here is all the old visitors books we've got candles more flags see it is lined with plastic on the floor we've got plenty of a lining I will be putting something down on top of that it is pretty grubby We've got some sleeping bags that have been left behind. Plenty of candles, a few candles on the go. We've even got a new testament and psalms. I will be reading that. <laughs> but this is a cool place. It really is. We've even got a little pillar there. But it is, as you can see, quite damp. There's plenty of moisture. On the ceiling 
Yeah, time to get set up proper. Right, guys, that's me properly all set up. You can see I've got my rucksack and my walking poles just at the back there. I've got my foam down. I've got my Seeker Summit Etherlite XT Extreme. The pillar, Seeker Summit Spark 2 sleeping bag. A little bit of vodka and coke there. My jet boil. Oh, tactical duck likes Wolf Cave. If you know, you know. The water just there. And outside, we've got a bit of company for the night. In introduce yourself, chaps. All right. I'm Jake. He's Jake. I'm Jake. Jake and Joe. Susan and Sky, the dogs. Susan and Sky. So, yeah, we've got a bit of company for the night. We're going to have a good crack in here. Oh, mind your head. <laughs> mind your head, Paul. That's the first time I've banged my head, and I'm sure it will not be the last. Yeah, I've had to take my T-shirt off. My T-shirt is absolutely soaking wet. With sweat from that climb up, man. Would it be an off-piste? Um... Yeah, I was absolutely dripping by the time I got here. I think these two guys were exactly the same as well. They were just getting a bit of fresh air outside. So, camera's going to go down for a little bit. I'm going to go outside and see these chaps cool myself down a little bit. Um, so, I'll bring you guys back when it's time for some food. Well, me and the lads have been outside for a little bit now. Um, the rain has started to come down, so we're starting to head inside Wolf Cave for the rest of the night. And it's definitely time to get some food on. Tonight I've got pasta bolognese, homemade, sealed up in my Mylar bags. And I did have some uh, Wayfarers all day breakfast left. So that's what's for morning. Yeah, we're all very organised. Everything's all set up. I'm just going to boil my food where the jet boil is there. Yeah, I'm looking forward to my food. Um, you guys don't need to see that boil. So I'll bring you back once it's um, once it's all boiled up. And then myself and the lads are going to enjoy a good night in Wolf Cave. Right guys, it's food time. Loving these home-cooked meals in the Mylar bags. Absolute godsend they are. Tonight, homemade pasta bolognese. Oh, oh look at that. Mmm, so good. Really good stir. Absolute game changer. We do keep getting the odd drip from the ceiling. It is pretty damp in here, but Considering the weather we've had recently, it's not to be unexpected, really. The lads and the dogs are still outside, but I think they'll be coming in soon. Hello, Susan. Come say hello. Come and say hello. What are we doing, Susan? Hey! <laughs> Come here, come here, Dafty. Come here, come here. Come and say hello. Yeah, dogs are getting a little bit freaked out when they come inside the cave. But this food is well needed. Like I say, on the walk up, the walk up past Black, Black Moss Pot isn't difficult at all. But once you come off piste here, when you turn right by the bend, that is a harsh climb. Like I say, my t-shirt's still soaking wet. Oh. Mm. I'm so ready for the food as well. Hey, hello, Susie. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Right, I'm going to get myself away and enjoy my food. Let the guys get in and get set up. I'll probably bring you back a couple of more times before it's bedtime. I'll introduce you to the lads proper and the dogs. Um, and yeah, once again, I'm going to be up early in the morning. I've got to get home. So um, yeah, me and, me and the lads are going to enjoy a good night here in Wolf Cave. We're going to have a good laugh. 
So yeah, th this is what it's all about, guys. Getting out and enjoying the outdoors. And you never know who you're going to bump into. You meet some really cool people getting out in the outdoors. So for now, it's goodbye. Like I say, I'm going to enjoy my food. We'll see you soon. Right, that's me and the lads set up inside Wolf Cave. It's raining pretty hard outside, so that's us for the night. I'll give you a quick look around the cave, and then it's going to be bedtime. As you can see, I've got all my stuff just beside my bed. Look at this. Susie, dog's all comfortable. Into Introduce yourself again, pal. Uh, I'm Joe, that's Susie. Joe and Susie, up on the bunk. She's loving it. And what was your name again, pal? Jake. Jake, and who's this here? And Sky. And Sky. Oh, look at the sky. Oh, are we friends now? <laughs> are we friends? <clears throat> so, yeah, as you, as you can see, we're all cosy inside Wolf Cave. So, that about wraps up tonight's part of the video. Me and the lads are going to enjoy a few drinks and a good laugh. And then it's bedtime, so we will see you in the morning. Good morning everyone. What a cracking night's sleep in Wolf Cave. As you can see, I'm all packed up and ready to go. There is my rubbish bag ready to go. So as always, and as it should be, I'll be leaving no trace. The two lads and the two dogs that I met last night, they're still flat out in there so I didn't want to make too much racket. So I've skipped breakfast and just basically got myself up and packed up and ready to go home. What a cool little place to visit and camp. That's probably the coolest camp I've had. And I hope you guys have enjoyed me showing you it. Like I say, time for me to get myself away home. So once again, until next time, stay safe, much love. From a Cumbrian lad 